The third is more dramatic than the root or the fifth is. It's a different feeling, but there's more drama in the third than there is in the root, even though it's weaker than the root or the fifth. Okay, so it's, it's less strong in terms of power, but it's much more dramatic. It's stronger in its drama. Okay, so less strong in overall power, but stronger in drama. Stronger in um, the emotion of maybe um, de desperation, longing for something. Okay, really longing. You know, like when you, you know, you're looking for that thing that you can't have. Okay, the unattainable ideal. This is what happens when I go from the fifth to the root. Establishing the emotion in your head is the root, not the fifth. The fifth is just a pickup note into the fifth to help, uh, it just adds stability to the, to the root, the second note. Listen to what happens when I replace the root with the third. That's the note. That third has that feel to it. Are you guys all feeling what I'm feeling when that note is played? Mm -hmm. Right? We're not, we're not talking about different things, right? We're all on the same page? Okay. Well, guess what? If I feel that, and DL feels that, and Anton feels that, and Patrick feels that, when you do it, everyone, all your listeners are going to feel that. And then you can choose what you want them to feel, when you want them to feel it, at what point in the song or the improvisation or the phrase or whatever. That's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful to affect complete strangers in the way you want to, to in the way you want them to be affected and when and how. That, I mean, that's real strong. Okay? It gets to the core of why you started being a musician in the first place. And why you're still doing it after all these years. Alright? That's good stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine picking up chicks with that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're beating them off with a stick. <laughs> All right? Okay. So those are some of the consonant pitches. All right? Now, right now, we're just dealing with one chord of one key. Okay? In this case, it's the one chord of the B minor key. Well, let's see what happens when we change keys. We'll st still stick with these consonant pitches. What happens if we go to um, E minor? Play E minor for us. Right, you know, let me, hold on one second. Let me quickly establish E minor in your ears so they don't hear the E minor is four, the four chord of B minor, because that's what that's how they'll hear it right now. Okay, so here's I'm removing B minor from your head. Okay. <laughs> Here, E minor is one. That was really important what I just did. If I didn't de establish one as the root, you would hear his E minor chord as the four chord of B minor, and that does not sound the same as e, the one chord of E minor. Okay? So, what, what I'm trying to do is compare for you apples to apples. All right? B minor in the key of B minor and E minor in the key of E minor are both the root, both the one chord. Okay? Let's go ahead and play E minor. 
What I just do, what I play. Isn't that amazing? You can all hear that? And that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's do it again. over the B minor chord when I played 5 and 3. The emotion is the same. It's a little bit lower, but you feel and everyone else perceives the same emotion. Okay? That's important. All right, now let's do one other key. Let's do um, just A minor. Let me put A minor in your ears. <laughs> as the one chord and not as some other chord and some other key. I'll play some notes. Do this. Don't look at what I'm playing. I'll play some notes and you let me know when I've hit the third. So now you're starting to get it. Now you're starting to remember, if I want that specific emotion, I know exactly where to go. If I want to put that feeling in someone else's heart, that's what has to happen. Okay? And then you would make your own aesthetic choices, your expressive choices about when do you want that feeling going into their brains? Well, that's a choice that you can all make. I have my preferences of when I, what, at what time would I reserve that feeling for? Okay, I would wait for important moments to put that there. So it has the maximum impact if that's the emotion we're going after. All right? But the choice of when you use it is up to you. But you want to, the, the key for everything is you want to have the choice, not just do whatever and hope it sounds good. What does that mean, sound good? It means that people won't think you suck or, you know, we're not here to, we're not here to sound good. We're here to put emotions in people, right? And in ourselves. Mm 